Our next guest uh, makes many animated movies, of course, uh, well, he doesn't perhaps, but many are made uh, with uh, their software. And this is some very cool stuff that our team uh, discovered around the show floor. Virtual camera controller, uh, 3D animation software. It's 3D Head. He's the chief operating officer, Dr. James Jacobs. James, welcome into tomorrow. How you doing? I'm very happy to be here. Thank you. It's a pleasure to have you with us. You brought in this really cool headset that uh, we're, we're showing now on the table. And, and I actually tried it on during the commercial break and got to experience some fun 3D inside this headset, which is awesome. And you've got, of course, you've got earphones in there and you've got a microphone because if you're gaming, you know, you've got to be talking your trash and whatnot <laughs> with your gaming buddies. But uh, that's the headset. You'll see it on the video when, uh, when you swing by. And uh, the other side of that is, of course, the device itself, I guess. It's yeah, a this game controller and It's and the actually right? the camera controller. It oh, it is camera controller. This is okay. the controller that controls the virtual camera inside Maya and 3DS Max. I must have stopped it because uh, it is not doing anything at the moment. But yeah, just leave mash, it to that, me. mash that play there. There you go. Mash the play <laughs> button. I, even I could have thought of that. <laughs> now, you obviously can't see, even though we shoot a lot of everything is in high def, but we're not shooting in 3D. But you kind of get the idea. This is very cool 3D without glasses. Uh, so those of us here in the broadcast booth are watching various videos that he's playing for us. Uh, no glasses on, and it looks very good. I mean, it's an actual 3D device. So tell me more about, about 3D Head and, and what all it does and what all you do. Our core technology is this virtual uh, camera controller. And in it is a device that replaces the huge IR stages and the wired infrared systems that for making animated movies, mm -hmm. this uh, handheld walks around inside that virtual world controlling the Maya camera, the 3DS camera inside Autodesk uh, software program so you can have a guy sitting at his desk or in his garage making world-class cinematography using this system. Really? And in 3D? In 3D. Because he, he's and he seeing can, he can see in 3D sees. here. What the camera sees is what he sees on his screen. Wow. That's pretty amazing. Now, he wouldn't necessarily wear the 3D head, right? What he wears the 3D head, it has the same uh, motion tracking system in it. Uh -huh. And once he puts this on, he can immerse himself inside this little world and he can watch what he has filmed, the creation that he's made, the cinematography, and he can see it and feel it. And then he can go back and change it or modify it mm -hmm. at his will because it's this thing, this whole system is $4,000 and it replaces hundreds of thousands of dollars worth of capability. Wow. Now, you do need the separate camera. You need the 3D camera, no, right? No, no. This is this it. Is this the camera is the as well. camera, yeah. Uh, oh, very this, cool. This, this is the solution that, that will, it's going to revolutionize the game making and the cinematography system for animated movies in the worldwide. They just need to get this camera in their hands. Gotcha. Okay. And, and having put on the 3D head, uh, the big helmet, if you will, why is it so big then? Because the screen is at a safe and comfortable viewing distance from your eyes. Okay. We, we're, we're, we're different than Oculus. We don't slam it up close to your eyes and use lenses to focus it. We put it at a comfortable viewing distance in front of your eyes so he can experience that 3D in a, you know, in a, in a comfortable viewing environment distance. I'm glad you're better than Oculus because they were too busy to come on the show this time. It's <laughs> well, like, oh, really? Well, fine. <laughs> and, uh, then instead, that's how we got to you because we wanted to do something with this kind of uh, virtual reality uh, type system. of immersive system. Well, we're not, I don't know, be any better than them, but we're just different. <laughs> we're, di we're different. Just different. That, that's, a, that's a good thing. So there are several advantages, as you've described, to being able to use this system. Well, if you want to use this head-mounted display and playing games, yeah. it gives you a third hand. You got one hand that's moving, your left thumb and hand is using it to move your guy around, and your right one is using, uh, you're, you're throwing your grenades, you're using your knife, you're shooting, yeah. you got your, your head mounted to look around. So basically it gives uh, you an advantage, gives yeah. you a distinct advantage in a competition. Cool. Well, you do need to check this out. If you're listening on the radio, be sure to come see the video of not only me wearing the headset. Uh, it's kind of a, uh, it's more like a head helmet, uh, but also what we're talking about and seeing the controller and so forth. And, of course, you can visit them at 3dhead.com. 
and you'll see all the cool stuff that Dr. Jacobs and his team are working on over at 3D Head. Thanks for joining us here at CES. My pleasure. Thank you. We're back with more as Into Tomorrow continues our 20th season broadcasting from the International Consumer Electronics Show on the uh, Las Vegas in the Las Vegas Convention Center. Can you tell it's the last day? And we're winding down, but there's so much more for you to see and hear about, so be sure to visit us at intotomorrow.com.